Hi friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss on common common issues with MySQL, or you can say common troubleshooting which a system admin should know. DBA team is the primary team who is responsible to manage databases, but uh, in some scenarios, you might know a couple of things to handle incidents or outage kind situations. To do so. I have uh, added a couple of things as per my experience. The issues are not limited to these one, but I have uh, just added uh, common issues which I have faced as of now. The first thing, uh, database is not starting. Couple of things which we can check whether you got uh, etc slash mycnf file that this is the main configuration file for MySQL database. So you have to ensure that file is present and have valid configuration. All the entries are there. Other thing you can check, system has enough free resources to cater MySQL. So you can check file system space, your file systems are not full, you got enough compute power in terms of CPU and memory. Next thing you have to check whether your file systems are not in read only mode. Sometime due to some issues with LVM or some file system corruption. Uh, so your file systems are read only mode. So MySQL can't write uh, on those file systems. That's the reason uh, your database may not start. If you are not sure what is the issue, then the best thing or I will recommend always follow that. Check the where log mysql d dot log file so this is the log file for all mysql errors and uh, warning messages so you can always refer this file you will always get a clue like this is the issue and uh, it always point to right direction okay other thing which you may face your mysql database or mysql service is running but you are not able to connect remotely what may be the cause so as per my experience, uh, sometimes we are trying to connect on incorrect port because all services or daemon listen on a port. If you specified port something, uh, let's say port uh, A on uh, server side, but you are trying to connect on port B, what it mean? You will be not able to connect. Second thing uh, that's a most common issue, your firewall burns are not done. It means you have not allowed uh, firewall connectivity for that particular port between your source and target. That's a common issue. You have to get it fixed. Other thing you have to check, maybe if you got some automated script, you have incorrect user or password in that script. So that may be the cause your connectivity is failing. Next thing, uh, you may face error where your application team say when after certain count of users, the connections are getting dropped to that particular database. What it mean? In database configuration, we got parameter for max connections. If uh, that parameter is set to some particular value, it will not allow more connections uh, than that particular limit. So in that case, you need to tune your database. And normally you will get message in your MySQL d.log if you are hitting that limit. So friends, uh, these are the common issues and we will discuss this technically now. Let me open putty session. Okay friends, I believe you all can see my screen now. So I will start with the first thing which I just discussed in theoretical section. Your database is not starting, so you can validate uh, whether your configuration file is there which is the main configuration file for MySQL database. If you see that is there, it go write permission. Yep, it should be always owned by root. Don't uh, make any other normal user as owner of this file because that's critical file. If something edited in this file, then you might be an issue. Other thing like system is not having free resources. You can check it simply using top command. If you see in my system, I got uh, my CPU is 99% idle and uh, in term of memory I got sufficient memory. So it mean uh, I got enough free resources then I will check file systems. I got enough file system free space and I am sure my file systems I can write or simple test you can do 
you can uh, write to file system let's say touch slash where slash test you can touch a test file then delete that file if you want I will not delete here leave it so these are the issues and uh, other thing you can grab for keyword error in where log my sequel dot log if you see there are no errors or we can check for warnings you see there are a couple of warnings what it mean uh, these warnings came around uh, they are recently came the table open cache requested 2000 timestamp server option so i have not explicit ex uh, these values are basically depreciated it is saying so no need to worry i'm using latest version of database and here it is saying uh, that's a warning at present max open file limit is 1024 and requested is 5000 so uh, that is asking me to change the limit so that's a warning only because this is my lab setup in production setup you have to take care of all the things uh, configure your database as per recommendations from uh, mysql community or mysql documentation so this is test setup i'm just ignoring but yeah that's a way you can check what are the warnings or what are the errors second thing which i told you your database is running let's verify our database is running or not system ctl status mysql dot service if you see my database is running but from remote user is not able to connect to my database okay first thing as i told it may be you are using incorrect database port so first uh, how to check on which port my database is running there are a couple of ways first way you can grab word key port in where mysql i will just uh, okay grab port in where log mysql log and i am telling it to one or two if you see my database is running on port 3306 so this is the port other way there are other ways if you want to check you can use a netstat command netstat minus tlpn pipe grab mysql if you see it is telling mysql is listening on tcp using tcp protocol on port 3306 so that's a my port i've got confirmation here this is the port at present used by my database if you want to check this within your database then you can run like this control i'm just logging into my database okay i'm on my database now so i can run command show variables like here i have to use key keyword port enter if you see this is database command this is database query it is telling uh, my database is listening on port 3306 which is matching with my os component so it means uh, yeah i am right i'm using a uh, right port quit okay other thing the issue like maybe your firewall burns are not done properly how you can check firewall burns are done or not so this is my client system and uh, let me show you my database server ip So my database, my SQL database is using this IP. So let me run nmap. Nmap, as I told in my previous videos, you can use nmap to test uh, TCP or UDP connectivity. I am testing on port 3306 where my database is running, and then the IP. So nmap, if you see here, nmap said uh, port 3306 TCP that is filtered. It means firewall has filtered that particular port. So it knows that MySQL service is running on other side, but only thing it is filtered. So it means uh, port is not open. So connectivity will break. So here I have to 
do the firewall burn in that case. So that's my local setup and I'm using firewall CMD here, which is default for Red Hat 7 or CentOS 7. I can check what are the existing rules, firewall CMD, then minus minus list minus all. It will list all the presently configured rules. If you see here, only port 53 and 53 for UDP and TCP are allowed. So port 3306 is not allowed. That's why user is not able to connect. So I will configure new port for uh, connectivity. Let me show you how I can do that. I can use same command firewall CMD minus minus on. I'm setting it to public, but uh, you can uh, tune it as per your requirements. Minus minus add port is equal to 3306 slash TCP minus minus permanent. Okay, so this is the command. I have created rule. Let me reload the rules. Reloading mean I am uh, refreshing firewall CMD daemon. No daemon, firewall CMD rules, firewall rules. So rules are reloaded. Here I will list all the ports again. If you see here, 3306 is added as TCP. So it means now if client try to connect to my server, they should connect. I'm running same nmap command now. If you see here, status is changed to open for port 3306, this bit. Earlier it was saying it is filtered. So that's a way friends, uh, that is the common issue. This is my local setup and I have set firewall D so I was able to run it, uh, the file, firewall burn by myself. But in case you got enterprise firewall, you may need to engage your firewall team or whoever managing that uh, firewall. Uh, next thing which I told, uh, maybe you will get issue. I can't produce that issue here, but you can get issue like max connection number is reached. To tackle that issue, you can get, you will see that error in your var log MySQL D log. So how to check how many connections are permitted on MySQL database server. To check, so you have to log into your MySQL prompt. On MySQL, you can run a couple of queries. Queries would be like show variable like max connections. Here, show variables like max connections. If you see 151 connections are allowed. So it means um, if 151 users already connected, it will not allow new connection. You can tune it, you can set it to further number, like let's say 200. That's up to you, but uh, make sure uh, when you do so, you need uh, compu more compute resources on your system. Because if more users are connected, it will take uh, more memory, more uh, processing power. So that's up to you if you got uh, sufficient resources. And here, uh, friends, one thing I want to tell you, let's say you don't want to run MySQL on port 3306. You want to run it on uh, some custom port or you want to set max connections to 200 instead of 151, which is default. What you can do, you can add it uh, I'm just taking backup of uh, MySQL configuration file before editing it. So can I can restore etc my dot cnf to my cnf dot back. So I'm editing this file. Okay. So here, if I want to change default port, default is three three zero six. If I want to add new port i will add a command these are custom config and uh, here here i will add uh, port let's say i want to run my database on port two two port is equal to i want to run it on port 2100 and I want to set my max connections to 200. 
as I shown you it is uh, 151 at present if I want to set it to maximum instance to 200 okay so I'm just saving this file then I will restart my service so after restarting service here with restart command let me check uh, on which port uh, my system is listening the request TLPN it should be port 2100 now If you see a yeah, port is 2100 other thing I can verify here in MySQL so earlier max connections were 151 I have changed it to 200 let me check whether that code uh, applicable or not uh, so here I'm logging into my database okay so I will run same query max connections if you see now it's 200 so friends uh, that's couple of uh, troubleshooting tips or tuning tips if you have any question, you can leave a comment on my YouTube uh, video. If you like this video, just click like button. And thanks for watching this video. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.